there's a special type of right triangle that is often used in geometry is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. The 30, 60, 90 triangle was derived from an equilateral triangle. Look at this equilateral. All three sides are two inches long. All the corners are 60 degrees. How you get a 30, 60 triangle out of that is by slicing this triangle down the middle. This line here is called the altitude. Now this altitude creates a 90 degree corner right there. This edge here that was originally two inches got sliced in half. That's called now it's only one inch. This corner here that was originally 60 degrees got sliced in half by this altitude. It is now this corner is 30 degrees. So let's redraw this triangle that we just cut in half. Here's the 90 degree corner, there's the 30 degrees, there's the 60, this was 2 inches, this is now only 1 inch, and the altitude is what we still don't know how long it is, we're going to call that x. And we have a way to solve for that altitude because we know the Pythagorean theorem. Now the Pythagorean theorem requires us to make C the hypotenuse, and this is the hypotenuse. So this is C, and we can make this A, and we can make this B. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for that side. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We said A is X, so that's going to be X squared plus B is a number 1, and C is the number 2. X squared stays as X squared. 1 squared is 1 times 1. 2 squared is 2 times 2. Now solving for X, I'm going to subtract 1 to both sides. Cancels out to 0. X squared is equal to 3. To solve for x, I want to undo the power 2 square root both sides. This becomes x, which is plain square root of 3. So rather than write just plain square root of two, 3, I'm going to rewrite this as invisible 1 times square root of 3, because 1 times square root of 3 is just square root of 3. So there, we just found the altitude, which is that line that cut the equilateral triangle down the middle. This is 1 square root of 3. Let's take a look at these similar 30, 60, 90 triangles. This is the smallest one, this is the medium sized one, and the larger one. Since they're all 30, 60, 90 triangles, they're proportional, they're similar to each other, just bigger in length. So this is the smallest one. This one is three times as big as this one. And this one is five times as big as this one. So basically, we just need to multiply it by the scale factor. Since this scale factor is three times, I would multiply two by three to get six. I multiply one by three to get three. And then I'm going to multiply this by three. One root three times three is three root 3. Only the whole numbers multiply together. This triangle is 5 times as big as that one, so I'm going to multiply all these numbers by 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 root 3 times 5 is 5 root 3. Now let's take a look at this. You see how the hypotenuse is twice as big as the side that got cut in half? 10 is twice as big as 5. 6 is twice as big as 3. And look at this here. The altitude has the same number in front as the side that got cut in half. Same number. Same number. Except the altitude has an extra root 3. And we discovered how that came to be by solving using Pythagorean theorem. So you see 2 edges the same except for this root 3. 
That's the pattern of a 30-60 triangle. Now, to get the pattern of a 30-60 triangle, if you look here, the hypotenuse is the largest side. It has 2x, twice as long as the side that was cut in half. Here's the altitude, okay? And I recognize the altitude because it's the one along the right corner that runs along the 30 degree number, okay? So let's go find the hypotenuse first. The hypotenuse for this triangle is right here. It's across from the 90 degree corner. So that's the 2x side. Same thing here. Here's a 90 degree corner. So this is the hypotenuse. That's the 2x side. Now I need to find the altitude. Here's how I find the altitude is I look for the 30 degree corner, which is right here, and I go down the edge, not the hypotenuse, but the edge down the 90 degree corner. So here is the 30 degree corner. This is R, we know the hypotenuse, so this is the altitude, and that's the altitude that we want to make sure we give it the root three. Same thing here. This is the hypotenuse. This is a 30 degree corner. The 30 degree corner runs down the altitude. So there's the altitude. So now I can write in my sides. This is not the altitude. So it's half of, oops, wrong color. So it's half of the hypotenuse. So this must be the altitude x root 3. The hypotenuse is 2x. This is the altitude. So this is a side that's half. This is x. And this is x square root of 3. Now, if that is hard for you to remember, there's another way for you to remember recognizing which edge is the altitude. Is imagine the other half of the equilateral triangle. See, this 30 degree was the one that's cut, cut in half. So the other invisible half of the equilateral is over there. Same thing here. This one is a 30 degree corner. So that's the one that used to be 60. So the other half is here. Now you can recognize, oh, there's the altitude. This is the corner that got cut in half. It used to be 60. Well, there's the other half of the 60. So now you recognize there's the altitude. So that's another visual way to recognize the altitude. And you need to memorize this 30-60 triangle pattern.